Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we are doing some thrifting and I am specifically looking for items for my kitchen. I wanna style the open shelving. So I'm going into the thrift store with that intention in mind. Now that being said, you never know what you can find at the thrift store. So I always try and have an open mind and of course browse all of the aisles. So let's head into the thrift store and see what we can find. Starting this thrifting adventure off with these sweet little tea light holders. I, of course, loved that they were brass and the heart detail is just so pretty and dainty and perfect for this time of year going into Valentine's Day. And then I'm just looking through the candlestick section. I love to just see what I can find. I thought these were really pretty and kind of different. I'm really, I don't know if you've noticed the last few videos, I'm really into tinted glass. So I thought that they were really nice and a great price point. And then I'm just looking to see if I can find any candles, anything to just bring some warmth into my home. I thought this was interesting. I've been looking for one of these for a little while now, but it wasn't my style and I wanted to see if I could, how easy that flower part was to come off, but it was pretty stuck on there. So I left that one behind, but I am still looking for one for sure. And then I checked out the basket section. And now that I'm watching this video, I'm like, why didn't I get this one? That one right there that's underneath. I'm like, why didn't I get that? That is a really pretty basket. Now I'm just going through the floral section. I thought that these were so pretty, but just priced a little too high. Even though I had my 20% off coupon, I was like, I feel like I could get that on sale at Michael's. So sometimes you just have to know your prices when you're at the thrift store because it can be quite pricey. find myself drawn to anything that is brass i really really loved that piece i think that would look so pretty styled on a mantle or even on some shelves always checking out the planters actually this planter i went thrifting yesterday and it's still there i thought about bringing it home i think that would look really pretty stacked on some like on top of a stack of books but I didn't bring it home. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying to not buy all the things. This was kind of interesting. And yeah, I'm just always attracted to brass. I love brass pieces. I think they bring so much warmth into your home. I think it makes it look so just collected and lived in and timeless. Brass is very timeless to me. This find is perfect for those of us that are into sourdough. You'll have to let me know down below, are you someone that has a sourdough starter? We have one here in the house and I love using it. I have yet to make like a artisan loaf. I just make it in a bread machine that I actually purchased at the thrift store. So always look for appliances too, but that would be perfect for someone who wants to make the artisan loaf. It just feels a little bit overwhelming to me. So haven't tried that yet. I loved this set of dishes. So beautiful. These ones too. I'm really drawn to glass. I thought these ones were very, very pretty. I loved the pattern on them and they were really affordable too. Just a little small. I feel like not very practical, but super pretty.
I'm also really enjoying crystal right now and just bringing in pieces here and there. I have a beautiful domed uh, cake stand that I use that is crystal and a couple other little things. This bowl was gorgeous and very, very heavy. Um, so definitely look at the crystal section. You can find some beautiful pieces, vases, little trinket dishes that just can elevate anything that you're trying to style shelves coffee table this picture i wish i bought this picture that's why sometimes it's hard to film because then you watch it back and i'm like why didn't i buy that it was only 9.99 and so beautiful I am on the hunt for this style of vintage Pyrex. I am always looking. I thought I got lucky, but it was just the lid for this particular time at the thrift store. I'm still looking. This bowl was really pretty and very heavy duty. I also found this bowl and it was very, very heavy. And I almost brought it home. Here it is here, but it was priced a little high. It was actually still at the thrift store yesterday when I went to, so maybe if they bring it down a bit i think that would be a really good quality bowl to have and also look very pretty on my open shelving in my kitchen always looking for things that kind of hit both po both points if they can be aesthetic and pretty but also be functional and something that i will actually use then it's a win-win and did you just spy that copper pot spoiler alert i definitely took that home and some really great gems that I can't wait to share with you. store and I have some treasures to share with you today. It was definitely a very good day at the thrift store. So like I said earlier, I went there today with the intention of looking for items for my kitchen to style on my shelves and just around my kitchen area, but I did find a couple more things. So you do have to go there with an open mind because sometimes those are the days that you find the things that you've been looking for for months and having the intention of finding and you find them when you're least expecting them. So let me start off with the kitchen items and I'm just gonna start with my favorite. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make you wait because I am so excited that I found not one, but two gorgeous copper and brass pots. I can't. I'm so excited to have these in my kitchen, in my collection. They are very dusty, so they definitely need a good clean, but the patina on them is absolutely gorgeous. And I just wonder, I wonder what has been prepared in these pots and the family that used them before. Like I truly love that about vintage items, thrifted items, is just the story that they tell. I love the brass detailing and just the overall look and aesthetic. I think they're just so gorgeous and I'm so excited to have them. So this smaller one was $6.99 and the larger one was I think $8.99. Let me just see that. Yeah, it was $8.99. I did have my 20% off coupon. So of course I saved an additional amount of money. They say made in Portugal and they feel like nice and just quality and just so pretty like can you believe i found two i was i was very excited very 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 excited so that is my first find i wanted to share with you today the next thing i wanted to share was this gorgeous planter can we just i feel like this is 
so gorgeous. I love the earthy tones on this planter. I love the texture. And although it would be a beautiful planter, I am actually planning on using this as a crock to hold all of my wooden thrifted utensils. I think it's gonna look really, really nice with the dark tone of the wood in this beautiful stone planter. And this was $4.99. And I also found a pair of wooden utensils that I found for $1.99. And just to kind of show you what I was thinking in this store, the warmth of the wood with kind of the colder stone, the earthy colors, the texture. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I also took home this sweet little brass tea light holder. I thought this was so pretty and really, really nice to go into Valentine's Day. Just a little trinket that I can add to either my coffee table, somewhere on my mantle, even on one of my kitchen shelves, just a little pop of Valentine's Day in such a sophisticated way. I love incorporating brass into my home decor. And this was only $1.99, of course, with my 20% off coupon, I couldn't leave it. I had to take it home and I'm so happy that I did. The next item was this pair of beautiful, kind of this nudie pink color, candlesticks, pair of candlesticks, and they are just so pretty. And again, perfect for Valentine's Day. I did not go in there looking for Valentine's Day decor, but I still managed to find a couple things. Do you see what I mean by yes, have that intention, but also have that open mind and think of seasons or celebrations that might be coming up that you enjoy decorating for. I definitely think I will use these on my mantle closer to Valentine's Day. So pretty and the pair for $2.99. The next item I found was this beautiful candle. This is vanilla maple sugar candle. It's from the Lawrence Town Candle Co. Hand poured in Nova Scotia. Smells amazing. It is brand new. And I, I love the scent. I love that it's 100% soy. Love the price point. It was only $3.99. I loved the color. I loved this rich amber glass color. I'm planning on removing the label and using this to style my kitchen shelves, which you guys would have already seen that video. So make sure you check out my description box and you can watch how I style these items and other items that I've thrifted in my home. But I love this. This was a really good find and it smells really, really good. The next item that I found was this really, really pretty brass and glass jewelry box. I thought this was so gorgeous and I plan on using it either in my kitchen with like recipe cards or I thought it would be really nice to store the remote controls for the TV in here as well and put it on my coffee table. So lots of ideas floating around. This is originally from Urban Barn, which I think is just a Canadian store. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the original price tag on this is $29 and I picked it up for $3.99. $3.99, it's in perfect condition, not a scratch on it. I'm very, very happy that I found this. And the last thing I wanted to share with you was this pair of prints that I found. These were $5.99 each. I did ask them, cause like I've shared in a video or two ago, that when I'm thrifting, if I feel like the price, cause sometimes the prices are a bit high, I'll just ask, I'll ask if they can adjust it. I'll ask if I could get them for the pair, which is what I ended up doing with these. They were both priced at $2.99. I went to the cash and I said, hey, would you mind giving me the pair for $2.99? And they said, yes. In this case, they said no, which was fine. I still brought them home. I thought they were so pretty for my older son's room. He loves the outdoors and he loves like being in nature. And I just thought these would go really, really nice. He has like a navy and off-white room. We have a kind of this traveler's theme happening in his room. So I thought that these would be really, really pretty and look very, very nice in his bedroom. So I was excited to find those. I can't wait to show him when he gets home. And yeah, those are the items that I picked up today at the thrift store. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I hope I inspired your creativity today. I know this was a really 
good thrift day for me. I found a lot of really useful, but also items that just look so pretty in my kitchen and around my home. So thank you for spending this time with me. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe, check out some videos in my description box, thrifting, decorating, and all things creating a beautiful home on a budget. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.